Okay. Gary? And their final resolution of the night is the construction of documents passed the file. Thank you, Ward. Resolution. Whereas the Municipal Council of the Municipality of County Pickle has adopted a bylaw <coughs> which provides for the destruction of any documents or records after they are no longer required for municipal purposes. Whereas the aforementioned bylaw has been approved by the Minister of Municipal Affairs. Whereas the Ministry of Staff has state undertaken the process of review and obsolete files with a review with you to seeking the necessary approval to destroy those which are no longer required in accordance with the destruction of documents file. Therefore, be resolved in this council, the municipality of County Pepper, the council to authorize the destruction of documents described in the attached affidavit of the municipal clerk, which indicates that he has personally examined these documents or record firms that there, there is nothing of value therein. David Pickle and Oscos the sixth day of December. 
copy the parent for the local parent code to work here. And you want a copy to go then as well to the Abercrombie Fire Department to the RCMP? Okay, so the copies go to those three uh, groups of people, and that way, as Council Brewer said, perhaps they can apply a little pressure to the um, Okay, so everybody's uh, okay on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Passed, and uh, Go ahead on the other one. I'm not sure where you're coming from on that one, Council. Well, what it is is just I was thinking, you know, I mean, we uh, uh, council, we give our staff uh, bonuses, which is great. I think they deserve it. And uh, but we have people that sit down on the uh, committees here that the council puts together, you know, uh, uh, the climate change, the board for accessibility. accessibility. There's all these, these uh, and I'm not saying the counselors, but the the, uh, the the residents that volunteer, a lot of them will be looking for the draft they can do it because they, they want to help. And I think it'd be nice if we were to turn around and give them a $25, $30 gift card. And, and only one, if there are two or three committees that we get two or three cards they get one. But I think it'd be, you know, look good for our council just to draw the thoughts to you know, for, uh, to show them that we appreciate what they're doing. I make that a motion too. If we want a motion, okay. Uh, the motion is to pass uh, a $25 gift card to, for anybody that serves, uh, any community members that serve on their website boards. Uh, staff would have to uh, figure out who that is, I guess, and which one to qualify. Uh, is there a second for that motion? I'll second it. Get it up the floor. Okay. Uh, I think it's worth considering. It's kind of uh, maybe as we said at many levels, you have a little more time to think about it. At the other time, I think that people just haven't had time to uh, think it through that much. But, uh, go ahead, Councilor Butler. Mr. Short, I just wanted to make clear do we compensate those individuals now um, for mileage? I believe we do it for mileage. If, if they so choose, I like count the world said something broader than the tier out county and the let that go and some do uh, put in, I know. So it depends on the individual in that circumstance, but it is compensated. How's it doing, Bert? Yeah, I think this is an excellent idea. Try to put a, a number on it, an average, I mean, hours so people uh, uh Yes, they have a direct cost for the family there, which they can reclaim if they choose to. But they give out hours and hours and hours of their time, which they're not compensated. They're volunteers, but they're going to be our compensated with Page Cavalry. So, a, a small total, like $25 gifts, they get to, I don't know, get to the Fairfax or McDonald's or whatever. I think in most cases, we cause them to realize that they are pretty. I will be supporting them most. I was just asking our uh, CAO, do we have any idea how many? He's saying probably under 20. Are we talking, you know, uh, 500 or less, probably dollars? You know, there's not, there's not a lot, but there are a couple of years, a couple of years, but the dairy is 20, 25, maybe it's back. Um, anybody else? Guys or what? I have one thing that I can't think of this, but my initial feeling is that the initial feeling is that any volunteers I know they're not going to provide initial I'd be more comfortable making a donation on their behalf to the organization at Christmas. I'm not really comfortable right now with the program. I'm not going to sit here with this for volunteers that come in. The volunteers can still work on their own. Most volunteers I want are going to be a do something to um, to recognize uh, being your commissioners, giving my certificates and that kind of thing. Okay, uh, Councilor Thompson. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of spring on us here, but who is the head? I I would I I think that if it's less than twenty. Can we make contact with those people and either encourage them to fill it out or go back and see for the last whatever number of months or a year 
and find out how many times it can down here. Because the $25 gift certificate, it's not going to cover the mileage for some of this coming from Lisbon to a meeting down in Pinto. It's, it's to be fair to everybody, you should change the volunteers. What are you doing? Uh, by doing this, I think it's, I think it needs to be thought out, but I, I think the, the most prudent way of doing this is to reimburse them for the mileage of the troops they came to meet. That's, that's, and if, if it requires a little work at, on our end to encourage either, I don't know what means that they didn't charge for the mileage for it. Do this. It's a matter of personal choice sometimes when they're not putting in mileage the same as what I'm doing. Uh, it's definitely what that they want to give it. And uh, I know myself, I was on the school board for a lot of years and when I was in my school, I just didn't bother. Uh, it didn't seem to happen to me. I thought kids could use it better. Once I moved to Toronto, I had no choice about it. It's not what happened. But, uh, a lot of times people look at it that way and people you know, they buy I think they just feel that's part of what they're giving. Uh, go ahead, John. Yeah, I think it, it being turned around that this was all about not the robots. People made themselves going in front of the city around. I know a lot of people that don't they don't watch us, they just do it. All this we're saying here, or all that I'm saying here tonight, and 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 then the motion on is that we can give them. A uh, 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 $25 dollar gift certificate just to turn around and say thank you. Thank you for what you do. We're not turning around and saying, here, because you want this. Nobody's asking for it. I'm the one that's asking for it. I'm the one that turns around and thinks that it's Christmas time. We turn around, we have these people that come in here and, and, and do this stuff for us and go on these boards. And, and you know, as it was saying tonight, you know, they give up their time. And I'm just, I'm just saying, because a good, uh, a good, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, act on our part to turn around and say, okay, you know, here, I, I think, you know, it, it's, it's nice. I don't care if you're rich or whatever. If you turn around and you get something like that, and, and it shows that somebody is, you know, really appreciates what you do, they don't have to do what they want or don't want. They, they don't think they, they give it down that way. It's just that I think it would be very nice. Where's the door? Hey, I guess it's not a question. Go ahead, Dr. Watt. I just have to say a few minutes for our finance and get things on you. I don't think we can get some more information on what's going to happen. Because at the end of the day, it's the taxpayer. it's taxpayers' money we're spending. Uh, so I, I just have to keep going for the people who are in this So I'm not going to change. Okay, we have a seconder for that motion. We have a seconder for the motion on the table. Uh, Mr. Warden, I would so second it. Okay, uh, and we don't, I don't know. We think we got one now. Uh, okay, uh, so the motion uh, put forward by Council Point is to table this matter until next Monday night at our meeting. Uh, it is a big uh, okay, uh, we'll call for the. I have to call for the vote on the table first. Uh, I know there's another time to speak that didn't get their chance. But, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Aye. Okay, <coughs> okay. Uh, it's confirmed then that we table so tonight, seven days off. Uh, I don't think it's three points. Anybody's against it? It's just that this table must make the bills of the Now, the vote was in table. Once that the vote came to table, you have to deal with it. But we will deal with it uh, in a week time, give people a little more time to think about it too. Okay, uh, I'll have an order. That's so it's not clear on that vote. I suggest that we re vote. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize it wasn't clear. Uh, no. but, uh, okay. Uh, uh, that is a print, uh, uh, we're aware of what we're doing. So the motion by Council One, seconded by Deputy Ward Murray, was to table the decision on uh, the volunteer uh, issue until next Monday night. 
That's the vote that we're having is the vote to table. All those in favor of the motion to table. Aye. 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 Okay, do we have a show of hands for those that are in favor of table? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. I wasn't counting right. Two. Oh, sorry. I didn't look up on the screen. Okay, so we got the uh, majority are in favor of game late motion pass. Now we'll move on to our community announcements. Are there any community announcements tonight? Okay, go ahead, John the door. The only thing is not the works and rolls well. It has for years and years and years. Somebody wants to change it. So the example that I'm going to give right now is the weather line. We used to call 902752222. You got the weather. Four different. Yeah, four different. You got the weather. And it, it was wonderful. It didn't matter. Like there's not many people calling tonight who can't get through. And, and that's what's going on. They changed the telephone number and it's almost the same now as if you have to. I guess maybe you have to do something with the computer, maybe the way that I understand it, but I know when you call the number, you don't get the number. Any information anymore. So uh, I got a little bit of information that I wanted to give to uh, Suzanne to put on our website. Maybe we can help some people, but most of the people that use that don't look at our website because they haven't got that technology at home, right? And that's what's wrong with that. We can put it in the room and see what's going on. But anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. It, it just seemed it so easy to do it. So many people, especially farmers, and I would think there's many of them that wanted to hear about the water too, because they always have a report about water. It, it, it would say pick the county at four o'clock or whatever and go on, and it, it was wonderful. I thought for years and years and years and hours. So, anyway, I got some new telephone numbers I was going to give Suzanne. I got some people to try to find his side probably, but I know there's some upset people. They're not upset so much. It's upset and, and disappointed that the old way is gone. Thank you. I know I used that number for years. That was the most accurate weather I could get was on that line. Uh, why they changed that? Because it's, you said part of it's on the computer now. Well, it is good for a lot of people that didn't have any knowledge of the computer or anything. They could get it sitting on the phone. I find that disappointing too because I only used it a couple of weeks ago when it was there then, so it must have just changed. Go ahead, Mary. I just wanted to let everyone know uh, the community is at Melville Seafoam Community Hall is having a Christmas garage concert. It's going to be on Saturday, December the 12th. It's going to be at 2 p.m. and there's going to be a big table and a 50 50. And the reason for this is to bring funds to keep the hall going. In their hair times for power and heat. They don't want to shut it down. So we're looking for all the support we can get and all the COVID protocols we can watch, including masking and for the vaccination as well. Thanks. So that's this Saturday, December the 12th at what time? It's going to be a man, yeah, but it is a variety of them. Yeah, and it's a free mill offering as well. There's no charge. It's whatever anybody wants to get. Okay, uh, that's good. And did I see another hand on the side? Councilor Royal. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Once again, this year, St. George's Church in the Glass was putting on their annual Christmas dinner. So I just like to pass the word in for area. But if uh, anyone would like to attend, tickets are free. You just have to have a, a good idea of coming here. Come just call myself and call the church office. Uh, if it's anyone who may be involved and just maybe have a special difficulty with you or whatever the reason. Uh, and it's all take over this year. So I'll take over and you should call ahead. Just we just have to get a handle on how many people are on the We don't call for registration. Just call so we can get it reported. That's on December 25th, I think. Oh, okay. Probably true. Okay. Uh, and how's the day for? Now, this is not what's an announcement. This is a bit of a Recognition, I only thought it was the big 
soft transporting club, recently received the Mobius First Club Community Achievement Award for 40 years. Now, Sue Ann beat me to it, so she has to throw it on our website, but I have to check that. Uh, I saw it on the uh, CBC site today. No, it's all our site. Yeah. Uh, at any rate, uh, any of you who know Ben Lou Scott, know that she's been the driving force behind that club. For the entirety of that 40 years, and she may well go on for 40 more. Uh, she's a high energy person, but it's certainly a feather in the hat for many of those scots and the saucers for his own on the top of the record. Thank you. You're one of our long, long time volunteers. Uh, now, I guess anybody get the attention to Yep. Yeah. I, I think Sarah needs to be the weather. I'm not full of food, much of things to say or do is to send to the left. I'm not talking about a topic. It is a topic. You're right. It's the 11th. Uh, oh, it's on Sunday. That's right. It's Sunday on the 16th. It's on the 16th. I'm going to throw it on the 15th. I'm eating it on the 15th. Here's the further from the council for Parker said maybe we could have an Indian skill or something. So, Jeffy, it's sometime in the new year. Would that be a good idea? But the next one's the bank. Okay. Uh, I see any more hands. Hopefully, no more doing the events. Rebecca Newton, who we already told them. Uh, so we're down to uh, emergency resolution. Is there any emergency resolution required to have this extension? Seeing none, are there any referrals to committees or council? Go ahead, Councilor Turner, and then Councilor Thompson. Thank you, Mr. Ward. I've been asked uh, on behalf of the Air Crowd Welcome to Fire Department. Uh, they are looking for the funding. They have a leaky roof, and uh, they are going to, which will probably be leaky tonight, obviously. They're going to apply to the Canada's Navy building fund in Nova Scotia, and they're looking for uh, support of uh, the council um, just through a, a written letter that the council supports their efforts in trying to secure funding through this. Uh, so I'll be asking uh, council for that. Uh, that can come up. That can come up at our finance. That's that's yeah. That's we uh, referring this to. Sounds good. Okay, okay. we we'll make sure that's on there. And then how the not? So just uh, uh, I guess remember tonight the update for the business part. Uh, the apartment uh, building is open up there. Increased population of 250 with this fall. Um, I'm looking for an update on the length of the work for the design road sidewalk in this area. Section. I was going to be a little bit towards. Okay, uh, we'll put that on for one of our one of the two committees that is beyond the project. Okay, we'll put that on for personal services on the next Wednesday night. And Councilor Wells. Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, the parking area had the big fires over there. I think we got the wood block when we sent our donation out to help them. They're going to do what they're the same, if not worse. So I just wondered if we were thinking of sending the no, we, can, we can put that on for Monday night as well uh, on the agenda, and that way, again, people have a little time, a bit of time to think about the, whether we want to do that or not. I guess uh, it's always good to have a little time to think about things. Uh, how's your water? Thank you. I don't think this is going to be a discussion for next week, but at some point in the new year, I think we should have a discussion concerning the extreme weather conditions and how our town needs to be able to handle. Uh, we just talked about being seen and covered about our own province, the ending of Sheen Bay, Brendan, and we're still going through some massive problems in their areas because of extreme weather. So I think that's something that the council should be discussing as to how we are prepared for. For whatever we know. Yeah, no, I have to lie. By the way, that was on my note lately. Is, you know, I'm a tip somebody else that did that. So, an hour when we had an hailstorm, it was only an arrow band of the county, but uh, 